afraid your Justine is going to be a screamer. Well, she might as well learn early. Maggie, all babies cry. Yes. Here you go. I must go soon. I expected that. It's funny how you always show up for life's great crises and then just melt away like the Holy Ghost. I'm sorry you're not happier about the baby. Before she was born, I said I hated her. What I wouldn't give if she were yours instead of Luke's. Maggie. Oh, Ralph. Why must the church have all of you? Even that part of you she has no use for. Your manhood. You already know the answer to that, my Maggie. It is a necessary sacrifice. Oh. Necessary. Come off it, Ralph. I'm not a child anymore. And I'm not your Maggie. I never was. All those years that I, that I loved you. And I waited for you and I wanted you. You never wanted me. So I try to forget you with someone else. And he doesn't want me either. You think you're no ordinary man. But there's not a penny's worth of difference between you and Luke O'Neill. You're both just... just great big hairy moths bashing yourselves to pieces over a silly flame. While all the while out there in the cool night, there's food and love and babies to get. Oh, do you see it? Do you want it? <laughs> no. And so it's back after the flame again until it kills you. God knows how much I've hurt you. But I do love you. Yes, you love me, and God more than me, and yourself most of all, Ralph, yourself and your ambition. Maggie, this is very hard, I know, I know, but please don't let it make you hard. Always been my rose. The most beautiful human image and thought in my life. An image? A thought? That's all I am to you, isn't it, you romantic dreaming fool? You haven't the least idea what real love is. Oh, go away! I can't bear to look at you anymore. And there's one thing you've forgotten about your precious roses, Ralph. They've got nasty, hooky thorns. <laughs>